Good morning guys and today is a sea day and boy oh boy is it a rough one. The ship is rocking a bit right now and take a look at this. You can see it's a bit overcast um, and if you look in the water the waves are bigger but um, I'm gonna go down and check the waves and see how rocky it is. I know it's definitely rocky because the ship is moving side to side a bit but um woo, just rocked a bit there. Um, but let's just go down to the deck and see the waves. All right, I'm in the elevator, so let's go take it down to the promenade so we can see how big the waves wow, are. Wow, guys, take a look at this. We definitely have some bigger waves out here. If you look out into the distance, you can see all the big waves. And up there at the front, you can definitely see them. And yeah, it's definitely a rough one. Today. So yeah, the seas are definitely a bit rocky right now. But now let's head up to the Windjammer for amazing buffet breakfast. I'm on the top deck and right behind me is the zip line. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And I'm gonna go ride the zip line. Haven't done this on a cruise ever. So let's go try it out. Sound me along. I'm coming, I'm coming up. Okay, that was really cool. I've never seen a zip line on a ship before. So it's very fun. But now I'm gonna head down to the Aqua Theater for an special event called Captain's Corner where you can ask the captain questions and all that stuff. So let's go do that. Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to the Aqua Theater for our captains. And the harbor pilot, he's the local expert and he knows, uh, he knows way in the world your way around uh, the, uh, the fleet. Uh, it's an adventure, mariner, enchantment. Right. So where was the ship built? And where do you, what? It's an unusual thing and we love to do it each and every cruise and thank you for being here. Captain, thank you. John, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to my team. Okay, so that was Captain's Corner. It was really fun. I definitely enjoyed asking the captain questions and seeing what other people asked him. And there was also the cruise director and the hotel manager was both there and people asked them questions too and it was very fun definitely recommend you go there if it is available on your ship and now there is a t-shirt sale in the royal promenade where you can buy two t-shirts for thirty dollars so i'm gonna go do that and then we are going to head to the pool <laughs> because it is downpouring right now. You can probably hear it, but um, or not, but if you see the ground are all red and it is downpouring. So we're gonna head inside and we'll see what indoor activities they have planned for. Okay guys, before that ended, it was a very fun time swimming, but now that it's downpouring, we're kind of stuck inside for the remainder of the day unless it does end up stopping. Um, but now it is around 1 p.m. So we are going to go head up to El Loco Fresh for some Mexican lunch. I guess it's our little thing that we just get El Loco Fresh on sea days because that's what we did on our first sea day. But anyway, let's go ahead. We just finished lunch there at a Loco Fresh and now I'm out on deck. It's really chilly right now, but luckily it stopped raining. It's only drizzling, not downpouring like it was earlier. But sadly, all the top deck attractions for the most part are closed. The ultimate abyss and all that stuff. But right now I'm heading over to afternoon trivia in the scooter bar and see if I can win me any Royal Caribbean merch. So let's go to afternoon trivia. Alright, so we just finished trivia up in the schooner bar. We sadly did not win, but we were just hanging around in Central Park and a thought came to my mind. In this whole cruise, I have not done the Flow Rider yet. And the Flow Rider is one of like Royal Caribbean's big staple attractions. And somehow I just keep putting it off and walking by it and not doing it. So it's a sea day and I don't have anything planned for this hour. So it sounds like a perfect time to do, go do the Flow Rider. So I'm gonna go in my bathing suit and hop up to the Flow Rider. So let's go do this.
before. It was very fun. I wasn't that good at it when I wrote it, but it was still quite cool to do. And right now I'm just hanging around in the boardwalk and we'll see what we do next. All right, turns out I'm gonna play pool in Playmaker, so let's do that. much better and more skilled at pool than me but it was still cool to play and try out but now I'm still in my bathing suit from the flow rider but that means I need to get dressed because tonight is dress your best night in the dining room so I obviously have to put on something good so we can dress our best so let's go get changed for the dining room <laughs> Wow guys, that was such an amazing dinner down there at the Royal Knight. For my appetizer, I got the french fries. For my main meal, I got this amazing cheesy pasta. And for my dessert, I got the strawberry shortcake. So needless to say, it was an amazing dinner. And now, as you know, earlier in this cruise, the aqua show got canceled due to some issues in the pool that the divers dive into for the aqua show. So to replace the aqua show, they are doing a show in the aqua theater called the variety show. The variety show is going to have every performance for the most part that's been on this cruise all put into one. So they're going to have dancers, they're going to have singers, comedians, and they're even going to have some parts of the aqua show that don't include the pool. So we're going to go head up there and watch the amazing variety show. Erica! variety show it was so cool there was that amazing singer we got to see the ventriloquist um guy again he was amazing and we also got to see the guy on the tightrope which was so cool but there are two more things in this episode i want to show you before we go to bed and one of them is right behind me okay so the camera i'm using does not do very good zoom ins but right out in the distance, that is a ship out there. Um, it's very cool to see, but yeah, that is a ship out in the distance sailing right next to us. Okay, before I head up to bed, there's one more thing I wanna show you. And if you're a cruise ship nerd like me, you're gonna enjoy this one. So on deck 15 aft, you have this amazing little area. And if you're a cruise ship nerd, you're gonna love this. So over here, you have this thing on the wall, which says what parts of ships were introduced on what um, ship. So for instance, the Flow Rider was first introduced on the Freedom Class, Central Park, Oasis, so it's pretty cool. And then next to that is this amazing model of the Freedom of the Seas, which is very nice, it's detailed, and I definitely love it. And then on the other side of the ship model of the Freedom Class ship, there's more of those things that say where parts of ships were founded. So the Solarium was introduced on the Vision, H2O Zone was on the Freedom Class. So yeah, very cool. And if you're a cruise ship nerd, you will definitely enjoy this spot on the Oasis of the Seas. 
All right, folks, I think that does it for this episode of the Oasis of the Seas vlog series. We hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow is going to be one of the most exciting episodes of the vlog series as we are going to be in perfect day at Coco Cay. And let me tell you, I have a big surprise in store because we have thrill water park passes. So we are going to have a blast riding the tallest water slide in North America. Well, that does it, so I hope to see you in the next episode of the Oasis of the Seas vlog series. And as always, my name's Holden, and you're watching Cruising Holden.